afternoon. I hope that you're doing well. Um, I wanted to show you what I've been working on today because I feel like I haven't filmed a lot this week so far and we are already on Wednesday evening. Uh, I'm away, well I'm not away but like I'm out of the house tomorrow morning. I'll try to film as much as I can because I'm going to like a crafts fair. It's not like an artist's fair with people showing like their art and their products and stuff. It's more from what I understand, it's more of like a materials fair and stuff and stuff like that. I'm really, I've never been before. Um, I've been to other fairs in that place, uh, so I know the place is really nice and I'm expecting it to be quite a big thing. Um, so I'm going nice and early as soon as it opens. I've already got my tickets, so hopefully I don't have to queue for too long um, and hopefully I have a good time. Um, but I'll try to film as much of that as I can, but I realized I haven't like filmed much this week so far and obviously I'll be out tomorrow morning. Um, I'd like to do some painting tomorrow afternoon though, so maybe you have that to look forward to. Um, but this morning what I've been working on is the memo notes for the stationery set that I was mainly talking about last week. Um, I kind of sketched these out towards the end of last week. Um, the idea initially was to just make a couple. Um, like in a standard, you know, memo note size. Um, and then I was trying to think about how people were then going to print them and like what, like how they would fit on an A6 sheet, which is what I'm doing everything else as. And it didn't really fit very well. Um, and then I was trying it with an A5 and it didn't work either. And so what I ended up doing was just trying to fill an A4. It's still not perfect. Like I'll show you the general layout that I have. So there's a bit of a gap at the bottom. Uh, maybe I'll add some doodles uh, or something like that to, to kind of fill it up, but at least, you know, it's it's looking a bit more full than it would have otherwise. Um, and so I ended up doing a lot more than I originally wanted to. Um, so I sketched some of those out last week and then this morning I was playing around with them. Um, I think the only ones that I had already done were these two. And then, so this one I also decided to make with a grid, though I think the grid is too small, so I'm going to make the grid a bit bigger. Um, and also I might make the, make the background a bit brighter, but I'm not sure, I quite like the colour. Everything printed really dark because I went to like the print shop that's closest to me, which I normally avoid because the quality is terrible. Um, with black and white stuff and like uni notes and stuff it's fine, but with colour things, there's a reason I never go there, um, but you know, it's it's fine. I'll do like proper test prints at home towards the end of the week, ideally, uh, or like go to my usual print shop next week um, if, you know, I can't get everything done in time by the end of the week. Um, so then I had ideas for some small reminder things. Um, we like the little ghosty that is also going to be part of the st of one of the sticker sheets. And again, I wanted to make it with both lines and grid. I do think the grid is a good size here. I don't, I think I used the same size brush. So I don't know why this turned out different, but I'll fix it. Somehow I'll fix it. Oh, actually, yes. Do you know what? I know why I, know why I messed up. I know I messed up. I messed up with the sizing in Procreate uh, because I accidentally made the canvases for these too big and then I had to resize. So I'll fix that um, as soon as I've finished with this. And then I made like a bigger to-do list. Uh, I want to decorate this a bit more. I also don't like the background colour. It printed really pink as well, uh, but I, I did make it more pink. I don't like that. I'm either going to stick to this same background colour or just make it plain white. Um, and then probably have the grid the same colour as this. Uh, so that's kind of that. Uh, but I do, I think I like the sizing of the like header, I like the header because I was a bit afraid I wouldn't. Um, I made another small reminder thing with the cafe storefront print thing. Um, well, illustration drawing that is going to be one of the prints and then I think these two are my favorites I made some smaller memo notes this is my absolute favorite the one with the cauldron it looks so cute I love it and the ghosty in the little forest this was meant to print a lot more green uh, though I do think well it does look a lot more green on on here like this is the one that I'm talking about that's not that's not it. This looks very pink. So I don't know if it's just, if it's just a printer issue, but to be fair, this is a very yellow uh, green, like 
to be fair it's a it's a yellow it's not a green it just looks green because color theory um, but it is like more in the yellow range than it is in the green range so i might have to adjust that um uh, but i do i think they're quite cool all together i do i do quite like them so i'll make some adjustments but i wanted to like start printing things because it's really hard to make adjustments when things are digital digital only um, and then I'm not sure I showed you but I made I think I did I did last week so washi tapes print the other print and then the other prints that I did for the stickers are in here but these printed really bright because my own printer was freaking out uh, and also these are not entirely finished uh, but I used these to basically mark the things that I had to fix. So I have to add some details here. Here I forgot to erase a bit of the background sketch. Uh, and then here are stuff that I need to like shade uh, and finish up. So I'm going to be finishing things up and like refining things. Hopefully have everything out by the end of the week. Um, I'm not sure entirely about how much it's going to cost altogether. Um, no, actually, I, I'm still thinking about making some more, like, small prints, uh, but I will update you on that. You'll see if I work on them. Uh, but if if I'm keeping it as it is now, it's two prints, a washi samples sheet, three other sticker sheets, and then an A4 sheet of memo notes. So there's three, six, nine memo notes. Um, so I think it's probably going to be around the 10 euro mark. And... I'm going to be doing a little bit of journaling now, I think. Um, I'm very behind in my memory keeping book. Um, I have been keeping up with the photos, but not with all of the writing. So I need to catch up on some of the writing. Um, and then um, I need to clean. And then hopefully um, have a nice chill night. I might do a face mask. Uh, and I think if I really feel like it, I can start adjusting some stuff tonight. Uh, but it's already, what time is it? It's already six, so I don't know how much more time I'll have, um, and I don't really want to work too long after dinner. Um, and with that being said, I hope you're well. I'll catch up with you at the end of the week.
Hi there, I hope you're doing well. Um, I thought I would just talk for a little bit at the end of the week this week, but um, spoiler, that is not going to be the case because there have been some some plans, changes, I suppose. Basically, I realised that October is just around the corner, October starts on Sunday, and in the art community, October really only means one thing, which is art challenges. Um, I have done a few before. Well, I've never technically done any specific one because I've never followed a prompt list before, but um, in 2017, 2018 and 2019 I did try um, to do daily drawing and I think I used ink most times, so it was very Inktober inspired but I never actually followed the official prompts. Um, 2017 I had just started drawing really, I'd been drawing for maybe a few months, um, so I did a few. I know I remember very specifically doing a few portraits, I have those in mind, uh, and I don't know what else I did. 2018 was my most successful year, um, I did 28 days, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't finish it, but I think by the end of it I was so burnt out. Not necessarily drawing wise, but um, I was drawing and filming and editing and posting videos every day, and that was a lot. Uh, but I am really, really proud of the drawings that I made that year. I still have them. I still flip through them every once in a while. Uh, they're in an A5 sketchbook and I, I really love them. It's a series of portraits um, and I did them with the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens in the colour Sanguine, which is um, this colour pen. I still use them sometimes. I love it. It's a beautiful colour. Um, I really, really love drawing and paint and like writing as well with these pens um, and I think that was my most successful year and then 2019 I did a few days and I liked the drawings that I did but um, I had just moved to England uh, for my exchange year so really it wasn't like the time to be taking on something like that um, so I didn't finish it I needed a few days but um, I haven't attempted anything similar since uh, the only thing I did is last year I did the Strata Easel challenge both January and September and that is a painting chat well it's a, it's a painting or drawing challenge, uh, but mostly it's a still life drawing challenge. So the idea is that you set up a still life, a still life or you paint from life something, uh, whether, whether it's a portrait or a landscape, you need to like be seeing it and not use a reference. Um, and you do that from life every single day. And I did that and I completed it both January and September. And I did both times, I did it majority um, with oil paints. Um, there's some videos about that on my channel. Um, but I had a really good time working on those and I wasn't feeling burnt out by the end of either. Um, I I think that both really helped me improve my skills, um, both my oil painting skills and my um, like observational skills. And you know, I just had a good time. It wasn't it wasn't difficult, which is really it, it sounds kind of insane to say, but I think with this kind of thing you either really find your like groove and you just go with it and it goes really smoothly, or you get stuck on day five. I think for me there's no in between. Um, that being said, I am going to be doing something this year. Again, I'm not doing any specific challenge, I'm not following any specific prompt list, um, but I have a theme. I am going to be using I think mainly ballpoint pen. I don't know if I'll be doing any painting. Um, if I am, I'll probably use gouache, uh, but I'm not limiting myself with my supplies. I just think whatever I want to use, I will. Uh, but the idea is that I want to make a zine. I have been wanting to make a zine for a while. Um, I made a couple of the, uh, at the beginning of the year, actually, but I've been thinking about making another all summer and I've, I've tried a few times and everything's failed, it's not, like nothing has really clicked and so now I'm trying it again. I just think because October it's such a good time to be on social media in the art community I feel like um, because it, it's very inspiring. It can be a bit overwhelming, like you can't keep up with all of it but it, if you follow like a few artists that you like that are doing the challenge I think it's always so nice and so inspiring to see them post every day or every few days or whatever they're doing and so I just felt like that would be a nice time for me to start working on a project like this because it would kind of motivate me to like keep going with it so I my initial idea was to do daily drawings of 
little things in my own life. Um, I kind of had an idea for the aesthetic that I wanted to go for that I have stuck to. Um, I, I want to draw a lot of botanicals. Uh, I really love the look of botanical ballpoint pen drawings. Um, I definitely knew that I wanted to do another like building or like storefront drawing because I had such a good time drawing the one that I did a couple of years, a couple of years, a couple of weeks ago, actually maybe just last week. Um, so I knew I wanted to do that and then I started thinking that would make for a really nice cover. But I wasn't too sure about that because then I felt like if that was going to be the cover then it would make sense for the rest of the book to kind of be like going inside the store and exploring the inside of the store. And so that's where then the idea that I'm currently exploring uh, and will be exploring throughout the month comes from. Uh, so I have a title for the project which is Inside the Witch's Workshop and the idea is that you have the witch's workshop like storefront uh, as the cover and then you go in and you explore little parts of the workshop and the sh or, or the shop however you want to call it uh, but mostly you see a whole bunch of her tools and the elements that she works with um the idea for me is that so just to give you a bit of context within like the setting uh I'll, if i make any incredible well inc not incredible but like any specific videos about this whole thing I'll talk more in depth about it all but the idea is that um, it's like a magical sort of village um, I haven't decided yet whether I want it to be sort of modern setting I definitely want the clothing to be very like uh, sort of a bit a bit historical I think but I don't know if I want that I, if I want to include like any more modern elements I'm not sure yet magical universes are, are, are always a bit on the fence about these kinds of things I feel like um, and I quite like it about them so that's kind of the idea she's a young witch I did a little drawing of her this morning um, I haven't got a name for her yet. If you have suggestions, feel free to leave them below. I'm terrible at naming things, so um, I'm probably not going to be able to come up with one on my own, but if you have suggestions, I'll be open to them. Um, she's a green witch, um, or like, sort of like a herbalist. That was sort of the idea that I'm going for. So a lot of plants, uh, a lot of like little bottles of like potions and salves and all, all of these kinds of things like it's something that I really love I drew like a foraging basket um, earlier today as well um, I'm going to be doing a couple of more like full-on complex il illustrations or drawings to give everything a bit more context uh, but majority of the book is otherwise going to be drawings like these basically just in ballpoint pen i want to draw conker shells i don't know why for a few days i've just been thinking about wanting to draw conker shells um little terrarium or like potion bottles and um, these are another couple of sketches about like what the workshop could potentially look like and then i have i don't have it here but i have a list of things that i would like to draw and i've made an index that i haven't filled out yet and i've made uh, sort of like a thumbnail index that I will be filling out hopefully um, so I can have an idea of what I have to draw each day I would like to go in with a kind of a specific plan um, of at least like vaguely of like the layouts and the order that I'm going to be doing things in I'm sort of creating my own prompt list uh, but not really like if I want to change something that's completely fine but I want to go in with a bit of a plan because otherwise I think it'll be too overwhelming to work on. Uh, I also start, start lectures on Monday so I want majority of the drawings to be quite small I think. The kind of thing that I can do in like 15 or 20 minutes you know. And I know I can do that. Uh, I know that's fine. Uh, especially if I'm just going to be drawing with pen and I don't have to like set up a whole painting thing which was the main thing I hated about the Stradizel challenge. Especially with oil painting you have to clean brushes and the cleanup takes a while and it smells and it's you have paintings drying everywhere and you don't have space to store anything it, that was a whole thing so I'm excited to be doing it on like it feels a bit of a smaller scale um, I think I will be adding text uh, I've created my own font in the last few days because I want to use it for something um, but I have it in Procreate so I think when I scan everything I'm going to then be adding text on top of it in like with that 
And that's what I have so far. I have a lot of ideas. I've been thinking a lot about the character and like what her personality would be like and that kinds of things because obviously who we are as a person really influences the, the objects and the things that we keep around ourselves. Um, so that's sort of the plan. Uh, I do think she will have a cat. That is a very important thing. Um, but yeah, I... I'll do more drawings. Uh, I'll probably do a bit more drawing now. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was the sketchbook. So I, my initial idea was to do it in here. Uh, they look almost the same. They're not. <laughs> this one is the same as the books that I use for my commonplace. Um, I really like these. Just, you know, these are just A5. Those are regular um, TN like size. But... I thought about it this morning, um, the paper on these is not thick enough and that will be a problem for scanning because pen does show up a little bit on the other side, it ghosts a little bit and so then like cleaning up the scans will not be ideal, uh, will not be the easiest and also in my head this doesn't look very yellow or like very cream. Um, but it's the same as my sketchbook pretty much and I have scanned things in my sketchbook before uh, when I was making my zine at the beginning of the year, the one that I made about um, my trip to Nice and also these things um, and these were a nightmare to clean up like I did not have a good time with them <laughs> the amount of time that it took me to like get them to have a proper white background and the drawing to still look okay it's probably just me like I don't I'm not very good at that kind of thing so I've never studied it I don't know how to use them I just do it all on Procreate and Lightroom um, and Snapseed which you know not the most graphic appropriate programs but it's what I have it's what I kind of know how to use um, so I thought doing it on white paper would be a bit easier <laughs> and kind of make everything a bit easier for myself. So I made a, a, a notebook this morning. Um, I had some white paper. This is a lot more white. Uh, I just don't realise it because all of the notebooks and the papers that I use are cream because that's what I prefer. But white paper for scanning is a lot nicer. Um, I had this paper already. I had the cover. It's a bit thick because it's the only cardstock I had around but I love the colour. Uh, and I did a very simple stitching down the back. So I have I have a notebook. Um, I have to it's <laughs> it stays a bit open uh, because the cover is so thick and the pages are a bit thick. But it lays flat, uh, which I think is the most important thing for drawing. Um, and I'm just keeping it closed with clip. I think that looks quite nice. So that's what I'll be using. Uh, ballpoint pen. I think I don't have one on hand now, but just a regular big ballpoint pen in back. Um, and I think that's it. I'll be doing a bit more drawing now. I, if you have names, I, name ideas for both the witch and her cat, please feel free to, to suggest them. It'd be nice for it to be like a community decision, I guess. Um, or if you have any ideas of things that I could draw as well, I'm happily accepting requests. Uh, I might put like a, um, a question thing uh, on Instagram as well because people usually have good suggestions um, though I do have a fairly extensive list already so we'll see uh, I'll try to like work my way through it um, and that's kind of it those are the plans I don't know how much I'll be filming I as I said the last time I properly did it I filmed every single day that was a lot um, when I did the strategies or challenges I also filmed it filmed the whole thing I think both times that was also kind of a lot um, but I wasn't posting every day and that was a lot easier. The, the, thing, the thing that I found hardest was the fact, especially in January, that the days end so soon, like the light goes away so early during the day and I was drawing a lot later in the day and so then filming those days was becoming difficult and I was getting frustrated with it. Um, so I think I'll be a bit more lenient this time. Uh, I'll try to film whenever I can, like I, I always have my camera set up on my desk like this anyways at this point uh, because it's easier than you know taking it down and putting it back up every, every time but um, I think if I'm drawing during the day and like I have daylight and stuff I'll, I'll film it, um, if not whatever. Uh, I also don't know, you know, I'll be drawing at home at some points, uh, like back at my parents, I'm probably not going to be filming those, we'll see. Um, I do kind of tend to make things bigger than they need to, so 
hopefully I can stay with my feet on the ground this time. <laughs> I also don't know how much I'll include in these videos um, or whether I'll make separate videos because I feel like if I end up filming a lot, these videos are already so long. Like last week's video was 54 minutes long. I don't expect this one to be much shorter. So if I add daily drawing on top of that, it's gonna be a nightmare. So I think I'll maybe make like a few updates throughout the month with like the full drawing process uh, and that'll kind of be it and talk more in depth about, uh, in depth about things. Um, but yeah, that's it. Are you doing anything? Like if you are doing any kind of challenge this month, um, I'd love to hear it because it's always, it's always really cool. Feel free to like leave your Instagram handles in the description, in the description, in the comments. Um, so we can all like check them out if you're doing anything like this uh and yeah that's kind of it i hope you're having a good time um i'll see you soon with a new video bye